Today marks 75 years since the D-Day invasion. Many of us know what happened, but the stories and the sheer number of casualties are difficult to fathom. 13 News Now anchor Philip Townsend tells us how it all happened. We approach Omaha Beach off the coast of Normandy. It's 6.30 in the morning, June 6, 1944. This is where casualties were the heaviest that day. Many of the young men, not even 20 yet, entering the surf carrying 80 pounds of equipment. Landing under heavy fire from the enemy, the shore mined and covered with obstacles. This is D-Day. The D generally stands for day, as in the day a military operation takes place. In this case, the Normandy landings and what would follow are considered the decisive battle of World War II in Western Europe. It is the largest air, land, and sea operation undertaken before or since that day. The landing, including 5,000 ships, 11,000 airplanes, and more than 150,000 servicemen. Its actual name, Operation Overlord, ground troops landing across five beaches in Nazi-occupied France. It's where Allies would establish a foothold along the coast, liberating France and weakening German resistance. The invasion wasn't a sudden decision either. It took years of planning by Allied leaders, and they knew early on a coastline battle would be critical in relieving pressure in Europe. The Allied forces even carrying out a massive deception campaign, tricking the Nazis into thinking the invasion would happen somewhere else, ultimately leaving the Germans unprepared in Normandy. A turning point in the war that would change the course of history as we know it. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.